Sydney here for 2DAnimation101.com. Today, I will talk about the limbic system and cartoon characters. To understand what the limbic system is, we have to understand a bit about our brain. According to Paul McLean and his research back in 1952, there are three parts of our brain. The reptilian brain, the mammalian brain, and the human brain. These parts of the brain are also known as the stem, the limbic brain, and the neck cortex brain. Let's focus on the limbic brain and the neck cortex brain, because understanding those two can help us improve the behavior of our cartoon characters. These two guys have different functions. The neck cortex part is our thinking part, our ability to have imagination, to imagine the future. Thanks to this, we can even imagine things that are not real. So, that's why this part of the brain is the one that gives us the ability to lie. And so, let's just call it the lying brain, just to spice things up a bit. Yeah, the lying brain. Now let's talk about the limbic brain. This part of the brain is where our emotional center is located. In other words, this part doesn't have the capacity to come up with things that are not real. This part only gives honest responses, using our bodies. That's why psychologist Daniel Goleman says it's considered the honest brain. Because it is the one that uses our feet, torso, arms, hands, and face to say with our body what we really feel. In the earlier example of Alice, when her friend asks her to go out with Johnny on a date, and Alice hates Johnny, she uses her lying brain to say, sure, why not, right? But her honest brain uses her whole body to show us what she really thinks. Her body is saying how stupid that idea really is, then tries to understand her friend's needs, and then she gives up. She feels annoyed. All of this is shown, but... Her lying brain, despite all the negative feelings, manages to say, Sure, why not, right? So, we learned in this lesson that there are three parts of our brain, but two of them are of most importance, the neocortex brain and the limbic brain. But, if you want to keep it simple, just know that you have a lying brain and an honest brain. The honest part is the one that handles the body language, and the lying part is the one that handles the words and voice. Now, in the next lesson, I will teach you about more ways you can use the limbic brain, or honest brain, to show you if your character feels like she wants to be part of the situation or not. So, see you in the next lesson.